Luxury in everyday life is also about taking time for yourself, slowing down the pace, feeling new emotions, and reinventing oneself for a better well-being. It's part of the must-dos of today. According to lifestyle reviews and books on the subject, and with so many solutions for well-being and ways to live better. Reconnect with nature, rest your brain with meditation, relax with yoga, and just let go. A vital need to cope with a complicated private life or an increasingly harder work environment. A necessity and now a new way of life not to sink into burnout, not to be overwhelmed by mental burden, or just simply to be in harmony with oneself. Right now, here's a guide to the trends on the subject. First step, take a break in a place that has plenty of resources, like a Dolce by Wyndham La Hulpe, Brussels. Weekends dedicated to the heart of the Swanya Forest. You get the keys to stop daily ailments with a new concept, the Spa City Detox Retreat. Spring, summer, autumn or winter, we always need a moment to disconnect with an adapted program and specialists on the subject to advise you. In particular, in a spa whose reputation is second to none in terms of holistic care, the Sank Monde Spa. Spotlight now on the main sources of inspiration for an effective retreat, Ayurveda. This well-proven traditional medicinal technique has been honored in Sank Monde spas since their birth, thanks to the special relationship the team has with a specialist in Ayurvedic medicine, Gensham Mada, who was the exceptional guest of honor at one of these spa city detox retreats. D'abord, euh, Gensham Marda travaille euh, avec, euh, bien sûr, le corps euh, de l'esthétique, de la cosmétique euh, depuis longtemps. First of all, Gensham Marda has worked with the body, aesthetics and cosmetics for a long time, but also with doctors. He has a very wide range of action plans and above all, he has a PhD in massage. So our core business is massages of the face as well as the body. So working with Gensham Marda was obvious, since it really allowed us to deepen our Ayurveda, apply to face and body massages, because when you do the Shirodhara massage, which is the oil that is delicately poured on the head and face, we achieve achieve quite an amazing massage with deep regenerating effects. Sur la tête et sur le visage, on a des massages tout à fait étonnants avec des effets tout simplement régénérants d'une grande profondeur. You should know that oil massages hold a very important place in Ayurvedic lifestyle because of their benefits that extend life. Whoever pays the massage saves on the doctor's fees, says a Tamil proverb. There are so many treatments inspired by traditional medicine, thousand-year-old practices and plants, with new cosmetics made without petrochemicals, based on miracle vegetable oils like camellia, argan or kimiri. La création effectivement de la gamme ayurvédique a été euh, clairement euh, Indeed, the creation of the Ayurveda line was clearly done with Gensham, who taught us the powers of vegetable oils, sesame oil, neem oil, which is a staple in an Indian pharmacy, and sesame oil, which is a thousand-year-old Indian oil. And indeed, thanks to him, we found the right dose for this oil. Grâce à lui, on a trouvé la juste mesure pour cette huile. It's with Dr. Marder, who has a very medicinal approach to Ayurveda, that we discover this life science that takes into consideration mental, body, and spiritual dimensions of the human being. At the Dolce by Wyndham La Hulpe, Brussels, at a conference that details these key points. Gensham Marder works in collaboration with no less than six European universities to spread the knowledge, including at the University of Limoges in France, where he explains several points that might seem simple, but are at the heart of the discipline. For Ayurveda, there are three important aspects of life. One is food, which everybody needs, and it nourishes you. If food is there, you are there. And normally, uh, we work for our food, in fact, and then other things. Uh, second basic need is sleep. And sleep is uh, a necessary thing for a normal human, uh, about seven to eight hours, Ayurveda says, because uh, sleep is something 
which in a way rebuild your capacities it uh, refill in fact it's a refill good refill to body capacities whether it's the immune system whether it's the digestive system whether it's the muscular system so what you eat or what you do as a workout exercise that need to be transmitted and that job is done in the sleep so a normal uh, working human needs 7 to 8 hours of evening means night sleep it doesn't mean that you sleep at 4 am and wake up at uh, noon this is not the good way you should be sleeping when it's dark and you should be awake when it start to be uh, light that's the concept that's the idea according to dr mada sleep is essential in life including when it comes to beauty after a number of theories on the awakening of the auroras sleep is used as the basis of well-being studies with notable articles written by personalities like Ariana Huffington the founder of Huffington Post that put it at the heart of wellness disciplines the results of a reparative sleep are clear better immunity more strength but going further there's beauty and the freshness of one's gaze or complexion everything comes from sleep the definition of health in ayurveda is not only a question of sleep balance or balanced menu there's also the notion of respect you should maintain harmonious relationships with society and animals because you're part of it with nature and plants from which you should be able to extract the benefits and be better with the whole universe i want to tell people there are three different messages first is take care of your lifestyle considering you not as a world every day morning you wake up you think of either children school traffic metro instead just spend few minutes for you think that you are a human you need something for you and design your life so respect your body respect your food respect the way you want to eat why you eat and the way you want to eat and of course have a good rest to be stressful life to reduce from stress or get rid of stress to take care of yourself we turn to the practical work via the expert hands of the practitioners at the Saint Mon Spa to help you unwind the Saint Mon Spa offers a menu of treatments and complementary treatments inspired by ayurveda which will largely help you relax whatever the ills and ailments you suffer a must try the royal shirodhara ritual or 2 hours and 20 minutes of pure sensory luxury that starts with an aromas and colors hammam which mixes benefits of aromacology and essential oils the ritual ends with a hot abhyanga oil massage to release the tensions of the body before testing this out there's the shirodhara treatment a technique of relaxation and appeasement also from ayurveda whose name in sanskrit shiro means head and dara for circulation a treatment with sesame oil whose power is amazing but above all a subtle practice that consists of shaping of the forehead by the regular flow of a stream of warm sesame oil and which works on energy flow the objective soothe the mind deeply relax the entire nervous system and release tension moreover shirodhara has a beneficial effect on ailments of the eyes ears migraines or sinuses not to mention the problems with the scalp while it stimulates the elimination of toxins it activates the blood circulation and balances the hormonal system while beautifying the skin and smoothing wrinkles it's a treatment that was favored by the maharajas another fundamental ayurvedic practice which is found in many other philosophies to try at the spa city detox retreat at dolce by windham is to reconnect with nature this is the objective of the forest baths to be done as a couple or in a group with Sylvie Hendrick a holistic coach coming straight from Japan it's an amazing and fun experience of letting go and is an absolute must to try whether you're receptive or not c'est vraiment de se reconnecter à soi it's really to reconnect to oneself and to connect to nature since we're part of nature and we have forgotten that so it's to reconnect to oneself through nature c'est se reconnecter à soi par la nature Et là, on va respirer, on va prendre So we're going to breathe. We're going to be conscious of all our body sensations. The five senses plus proprioception. 
so I know where my body is in the space, to be able to feel, to listen to things that we're no longer used to listening to, to taste, the taste of the air, the taste of the air's flavors, to smell the air, to smell everything in the forest. In addition, we can continue with a yoga session, for example, a Nirda yoga session. Yoga centered on breathing that helps liberate negative emotions and rediscover good quality sleep, or practicing breathing exercises lying down. More classic, these breathing exercises should be practiced in any circumstance to find one's inner peace, just like balancing postures. There are many breathing exercises, many different types of breathing. The simplest is breathing through the stomach, so it's really to feel that I'm breathing in my stomach. So to connect to one's navel, let it relax, let the stomach relax. And then on the inhale, really feel the movement of the navel that comes in and joins the spinal cord. And to breathe in the stomach, rather than taking a short breath here, very high and small, simply expand from the stomach while relaxing the jaw and being conscious of one's breath. We think that we're very anchored, but we're not at all anchored. We're in our head, and being anchored is really about coming back down to earth. It's really to feel being anchored, feet on the ground, to really feel like I'm connected to the ground, and to have the body remain supple. There's no tension in the body, and simply in this standing position, it's to be aware again of one's center. Actually, if we stop, we can perceive our life around us, what is happening at the moment. Everything is moving around us, and we have lost that sensation a little. The wellness, of course, includes a special dish. At the Dolce by Wyndham La Hulpe, Brussels, chef Didier Bonnier has for a long time adapted to what some consider a passing fancy, and others as a true necessity. The chef lives daily with his son being allergic to a number of foods, and consequently adapted to vegan cuisine to better satisfy his concerned clients and explore new culinary domains. And the least we can say is that imagination is very present in these vegetarian dishes. To prolong the benefits of this detox weekend and apply the notion of Ayurvedic respect, we enrich our toiletry case with the latest solutions and creations from the cosmetic brand Spa Saint Monde. Il y a un très beau produit qui n'émane pas de la culture ayurvédique, mais de la Chine et de Guilin plus particulièrement. It's a very beautiful product that doesn't come from Ayurvedic culture, but from China, from Guilin in particular, which is in China, a grandiose place, which is extremely rich in beauty. We call these landscapes dragon's teeth. They are mountains that made the best Chinese writers write about them, and we work with new products on cutaneous microbiota. We know that microorganisms of the skin have an obligation, like the microcosm and microorganisms of the intestinal flora. Well, the skin needs them for its balance and for its beauty. So we have a product that will rebalance the cutaneous microbiota. Eh bien, la peau, on a besoin pour son équilibre et pour sa beauté. Donc, on a un produit qui va rééquilibrer le microbiote cutané. Innovation more than novelty. That is the spring of science and understanding of the world around us, which is very optimistic because there are still many beautiful things to discover and precisely thanks to these discoveries, we are able to increasingly rebalance all that surrounds us, both outside and inside, and that's fabulous. The curiosity of man, I believe, is infinite. The Spa City Detox Retreat is a concept that celebrates the 10-year collaboration between Dolce by Wyndham La Hulpe Brussels and its Spa Saint Monde. With all the activities that it offers, this accessible luxury resort can adapt to all your desires for weekends of this type. It's the perfect way to give real meaning to the words relaxation and well-being.